Tonight, Mayor Wu says she is sore but doing okay after this crash involving the police cruiser she was riding in. But she can't explain why the cruiser had its emergency lights on. Now, it is typical for the mayor to be escorted to her events in an unmarked police SUV. But we know that police are only supposed to have their blue lights on when they're responding to an emergency. WBZ's Beth Germano is live for us in Boston tonight. Beth, I know you spoke with the driver of the other car that was involved. And she says with other vehicles ahead of her at this busy intersection here on High Park Avenue, she just didn't see the cruiser right away. According to a Boston police report, that cruiser entered here slowly. But she has a different version of what happened, and it's all under investigation. This video captures the moment a Boston police cruiser carrying Mayor Wu enters a busy intersection with a red light and is hit by an oncoming car which has the green. Sitting in the car, I was on my phone kind of reviewing documents and, uh, and um, really heard the sound before anything else and realizing what was happening. The mayor admits she was headed to an engagement but not an emergency, though the cruiser's lights and siren were activated as the driver tried to turn left onto High Park Avenue. The car that struck the cruiser was driven by 32-year-old Just Mary Pena with her one-year-old son in a back car seat who was bruised by a strap. She says she didn't see the cruiser in the intersection until it was too late and speaks through an interpreter. She didn't hear the sirens but she did see the flashing but it took her a while because she had vehicles in front of her to see them. According to the Boston police report of the incident, officer was unable to avoid the collision due to vehicle one's fast approach and did not stop or slow down for the cruiser's lights or sirens. 25, 30. Pena claims she was going no more than 25 to 30 miles an hour and the airbags didn't even deploy. She says emergency vehicles need to give drivers a little more time to react. She knows that federal or government vehicles are supposed to give some time, even though they're going with the flashing lights and the sirens, to give people enough awareness that they're coming through. And she, do she doesn't believe they did that. Mayor Wu wouldn't answer specifically why the lights were on in the first place. Why were those lights on, Mayor? Why were the emergency lights on? As with any kind of departmental or, or city vehicle that is involved in a crash, um, there's a, a review that happens. So Mayor Wu says that first step is an internal review and then policy will be reviewed. Jasmini Pena says she's actually grateful to the mayor who got into the ambulance with her to the hospital to have her son checked out. But she's a little worried and frustrated now she could be on the hook for the insurance costs. Reporting live from Roslindale, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.